Hey everyone, welcome back to Adventures with Edna. I'm Chris. Uh, hopefully you guys are all enjoying the new year. Uh, it's a little wet and cold out here today. Uh, just a short little video just to show you an upcoming project. Um, I did a short on it the other day. I haven't figured out how the YouTube shorts work exactly with their algorithm and everything. But it's funny because I posted a 15 second video of Edna just idling. And the last I checked, it has 2,200 views on it. So I was like, hey, I should do another short. So I did another one of Chance's new water bottle uh, with the Adventures with Edna logo on it. And the last I checked, it has 16 views. So nobody watched it. So I thought I'd make another one, and I did a coming soon video on what we're about to show you today. Also, 16 views. So, I don't really know how that works. It's kind of weird how, because some of the shorts have done really well. I think I have one that's like at almost 5,000 views, and I have other ones that just haven't really done well at all, like these two past ones. So, it's funny how all that works. Um, but anyway, uh, so a new project that I've been working on for a while now, I shouldn't say working on, uh, it's mostly just been uh, checking out fabric stores for something I wanted to do to Edna. Um, I've been watching, I, you know, I watch a fair amount of YouTube myself, and there is a lot of old hot rods and that you see that uh, have custom interiors in them, and even though I've already redone the interior on Edna, uh, I really like some of the plaid uh, accents that some people put in theirs and I kind of want to do the same thing here on Edna so I've been trying to find some kind of green plaid that kind of matches uh, the paint on Edna and I finally found it and I found it uh, a couple weeks ago when Chance and I checked out the marketplace on Main in Cowpens and I found one that I thought would work great so in the last video where well not the last video in the video where I got the Christmas tree I ran into uh, that same antique store and got those trains on the video but what I didn't show was I got the fabric while I was there um, so anyway, what I'm wanting to do is pretty simple. It's just the uh, little door panel section. I think they just call it the inspection plate. Uh, but I wanted to redo that in the plaid. And I want to add a little pocket to it. Let me get you guys in here closer. You have to forgive me for adding this dirty interior. We did some we did some man work yesterday and did mulch, so she's a little dirty at the moment. Uh, plus the rain last night. But anyway, so I want to redo this panel uh, in the plaid. And back when I first did the interior, I bought this vinyl and just glued it to the panel and put all new stainless steel screws in all the way around uh, to get that... Uh, it's looking good, because I kind of like the idea of it being a different color than the actual door itself. So, but even though it's been about three years now, it's already starting to come off a little bit around the edges. Uh, and so, kind of want to redo it. Uh, just add a little bit of thing. And another thing I wanted to do while I'm in here is put in like a pocket, like right here. Something to keep like my sunglasses in. Uh, or other small items. Uh, when you close the door, uh, if you look over here, the main part of the inspection plate is behind the seat. So, it doesn't have to have like a full pocket in it. And so I'm going to have it kind of towards the front of the door. And I've been looking at different uh, actually, I've been looking at Model A's because my dad had a 30 coupe uh, back when I was younger 
and it had a little pocket in the door like it looked like a little pouch that was just kind of sewn in and you know you could keep little things in there and uh, so I was looking at some Model A pictures online of how they did their little pouch so I'm gonna see about having like a vintage pouch put in there uh, just something simple on the one side um, for references and all of this is gonna get done off camera except for just putting the plate back in because I'm gonna have an upholstery shop actually do it uh, that way they can sew the pocket upright and then put this stuff on where it's not peeling off real quick like it did here um, so that's gonna be pretty neat um, so here is the fabric I picked um, I think that's gonna look really good in here uh, it does obviously have colors that Edna doesn't have but it's a pretty close green. It's not a perfect match, but it's a pretty good close green to the to the outside of the truck. And I think that's going to look really good. So I'm hoping to have that done uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, I'm going to take it, like I said, I'm going to take it to a local upholstery shop. They're going to see what they think. Uh, I might have them add some padding behind this too so it doesn't look so flat just to kind of make it look a little more plush which I think will be cool. And then another thing I was thinking about doing while I'm in here and there's another thing of fabric if I don't have enough but I'm sure you guys notice that Edna's missing her headliner and if you've been following along for since we started the channel you know why the headliner is out. Um, it's been out for quite a while now. Uh, if you go back and watch our video from where we went to the Cottonwood Trail, we had a bit of an accident. Um, we were pulling into a kind of a funny parking spot and I was looking downward and chance at the last second saw that there was a low hanging branch that hit the roof right behind this panel here and put a big dent into it. Some of it's still there. I don't know how well you can see it on camera. But that's the whole reason the headliner's been out. Uh, I pushed it out as best I can, and but I'd kind of like to do a little more tweaking to it before the headliner goes back in. Uh, I don't really know anybody offhand who can do the dent repair. Because it's not exactly like paintless dent repair on new cars because there is no paint. So you kind of have to get the dent out without any body, or, well, any paint work. So i got to get it as straight as I can get it before the headliner gets back in. Uh, hopefully I can find somebody soon that can work on it. I kind of did it as best I can. I have no body work experience whatsoever. Uh, so hopefully I didn't do anything to it in fixing it. And that's going to make it harder on whoever actually does the work. Um, it does look a lot better than it did when it first happened, uh, but the, you have to get to it from behind, which is why the headliner's out. So, I'm curious what you guys think if we go back and redo the headliner with the plaid. So it won't be too noticeable, so it'll still kind of have the gray around the sides, uh, but then from there up, it will have the plaid, which I think is going to be kind of cool. So I'm kind of kind of leaning towards it let me got let me know what you guys think in the comment section below uh, if you think I should do the headliner uh, with the door panels um, I think it'll be kind of kind of neat uh, as opposed to just going with this this is actually wool uh, which I was kind of worried might fade a little bit but according to everything I read online uh, people like wool in their cars and I guess it holds up pretty well so that's good could maybe do the hit the sun visors too because that could be neat uh, don't want to get too crazy with it um, but I think it's going to be cool uh, give Edna a little custom a little custom work on the interior another little project I've got going is the license plate situation if you guys remember when we did the uh, new chrome bumper which still looks pretty awesome um, the it's the brackets I used give it the bumper tuck. Uh, so it's it's not as low as it would be, and it's really close to the body. So it completely blocks off the license plate. So something we had to do to get the license plate in was I had to figure out where to relocate it. 
and this is what I came up with which I actually really like uh, it's got a nice frame on it uh, kind of help keep it sturdy uh, we use some little brackets to put that in down there but the unfortunate thing is uh, the license plate light which is right under the tail light here doesn't reach the license plate anymore so if I'm driving around at night there is no light on the license plate definitely don't want to get pulled over for that sort of thing so I've come up with a solution I found this little LED license plate light online uh, I got it on Amazon actually and I think it'll hide up under there nicely and then just wire in uh, so it'll just go right up under here and nobody will ever see it and it'll give us good light on there uh, even though Edna is never going to be doing any towing, I did, I don't know if you can see it, I did put a trailer wiring harness in here when I rewired the tail lights. Uh, so I think I'm just going to plug directly into that for the license plate light. So that should make things kind of simple. I still need to do a part three on Edna Gets Wired and get this wiring job finished. I know I've mentioned it in several other videos, but when you got to work outside and it's cold out here, you kind of tend to not want to do too many outdoor projects, uh, especially on an old truck. Uh, so that's kind of been on the back burner. I don't know if I'm going to add this as part of the Edna Gets Rewired video series, uh, but either way, it should be going on pretty soon. Um, and in the same time, I'll go ahead and get the rest of the wiring done, both under the hood. I got to redo the headlights. Some of the headlight wiring has to be redone and getting the gauges fully hooked up because at the moment the oil pressure gauge isn't connected. So I got to get that up and then just kind of do some wire cleanup, put some wire looms on it so it's not just open wires everywhere. So that way it's got a nice clean look when it's finished. So that's going to be coming pretty soon. So anyway, again, uh, let me know what you think of the fabric that I picked out for the uh, inspection plates on the doors. Uh, let me know if you think we should do the headliner as well. Uh, I always love seeing you guys comment. Um, I wish I could get more comments from you guys. I always like reading them. Uh, don't forget to uh, like, share, subscribe. Um, we do have a pretty good bit of subscribers. We're getting up there slowly. Uh, we're doing really good for our first year, at least I think so. Uh, Chance is really happy about it. He's always really excited when I read some of that stuff out to him, let him know we have how many subscribers he has. Usually when I see him, the first thing he asks me is if we have any new subscribers, so he always likes to hear that. Anyway, thank you for watching Adventures with Edna, and we'll see you in the next one.